Hey everybody, Hunting Tip Tuesday, tip number seven. Today we're talking about hunting downwind. What does that mean? Well, anytime you're hunting, you wanna make sure that you're considering the direction that the wind is traveling, as well as your position relative to the animal that you're hunting. So for instance, if we've got a wind coming out of the east and you have an animal hunting you that's also to your east and you are to the west of that animal, that wind is gonna come across the animal, then across to you and carry your scent away from the animal. So what that does is it allows you to stay concealed because the animal is not playing to the advantage of their sense of smell. An animal's sense of smell is many times greater than ours. Depending on the species, it could be hundreds of times. So it's important to manage that uh, by staying downwind. If you're curious or you're wondering, hey, maybe uh, how do I tell which way the wind is blowing? Because it can be confusing in certain cases. Pick up a bottle of uh, wind indicator, which can be like a powder that you spray in the air, or just hang a feather off of your bow or rifle, hold it up and just see which way it's moving. And that will tell you the direction that the wind is going. One other thing to consider is that when you're hunting the wind, the wind speed matters. If it's an extremely still day, that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing, depending on where you are topographically. And we'll get into that over another time. But if the winds are very high, that can be an advantage because it's moving so fast that the deer or whatever your prey species may be, may not be able to get a good solid smell or sniff of what's coming by its nose. Whereas if it's a calmer day, maybe five or six miles per hour, and a steady wind, you'll have a steady scent tra trail going directly to that animal. So consider the wind speed and try to stay downwind of whatever it is you're hunting.